on Bitcoin. They've it's had a pretty good spate here, even though we're still way down from the highs. Would you put new money to work on Bitcoin today? Hey guys, welcome back to Library of Wealth. Today we have ARK Invest Kathy Wood discussing her outlook for the present bear market, as well as the influence that the stock and crypto markets are having on Bitcoin. Kathy will also discuss her financial prospects for the next few months, as well as whether or not there is an end in sight. Although Bitcoin is currently feeling the consequences of the current economic downturn, Kathy discusses other countries that are experiencing a currency crisis as well, and they haven't seen the worst of it. She believes that the current trajectory is merely a foreshadowing of what is to come. We'll take a look at her Bitcoin prediction as well as her investment thesis for the stock, crypto, and capital markets. Stay tuned to the end of the video to hear Kathy's predictions regarding the current market meltdown, recession, inflation, and the impact of interest rate hikes on financial markets. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content we do here on this channel. Let's get right into the video. Tell me what you see coming in the coming six to 12 months and how you want to be allocating capital today. Well, I think uh, our strategy has been hurt very, very much, as have most growth strategies, by the fears associated with inflation and higher interest rates. Uh, and as I, I mentioned, we think that's going to turn around. We see the growth coming out of these five platforms. These are five innovation platforms. These are exponential growth trajectories. And we faced a lot of COVID-related comparison issues in stocks like Roku, Teladoc, Zoom, and so forth. So there's been a lot of confusion on very short-term indicators in the market. But the explosive growth is there. It has happened, and we think it's going to continue. We see that in the global public equity markets, a truly disruptive innovation, which is all we focus on, is priced at roughly $8 trillion in value in the markets today. That number, we believe, is going to more than $200 trillion during the next 8 to 10 years. So it's going from less than 10% of the global public equity market to what we believe will be 60%. And the reason we believe that it will move to that level is because these platforms are going to disrupt the traditional world order in a way like we have never seen before. We were not around in the early 1900s when telephone electricity and the automobile disrupted the existing world order. These are five platforms, not four, not three, and they involve 14 different technologies. So uh, we do extensive research. Uh, I think we do the best research, if I might say, uh, because of our sole focus on it. And we give that research away because we want people to understand how their lives are going to change and how their children's, grandchildren's lives are going to change and how important it is for all of us to get on the right side of change. Yeah, and, and I understand that long-term look about how revolutionary all of this is, but Kathy, how long can you stay on this theme when markets go against you? You had an incredible run for so long up until this up, this most recent upset in the market. Now your ARK Innovation ETF uh, in a bit of a slump, down nearly 60% this year. Kathy goes on to say that in certain countries, they don't want to have to depend on politicians to decide on monetary policy. Emerging markets are relying on digital currency, and Kathy believes that based on the current market outlook, decentralized finance will take over and usurp the roles of most financial services companies today. They'll be able to offer lower rates to savers and higher rates to borrowers. Tell me what you do in terms of hedging, if you can. Um, for example, you know, you've got a market that is very nervous about how slow things get, and that's why for the first time in what, 15 years, we're seeing value outpace growth. Yes, well, we think if we're right about what's going on in the economy right now, and inflation is going to come down uh, fairly dramatically, that will be a big positive for growth stocks. The compression in our performance, what we do during periods like this, is we concentrate our holdings towards our highest conviction name. So we have taken our flagship strategy from 55 names down to 33 names. Uh, we did the same thing during COVID, but that was just a one month worth of pain. And it was awfully painful over a month. Uh, and from the lows in COVID, 
we moved up in the span of less than a year by 360%. So that was probably, uh, you know, ahead of its time. We've corrected uh, tremendously, tremendously. And now we have many, what I would consider deep value stocks, if you give us a five-year investment time horizon. In terms of hedging, what I just described, that concentration strategy, people would say, oh, well, my goodness, you're taking more risk. No, we're not. We, we have a scoring system, which naturally takes us towards higher scoring names during corrections. So it's, a, it's kind of a pruning of the portfolio. And in terms of hedging, we, that's not what we do. That's what asset allocators do. That's what advisors do. We are a slice of their portfolios. And they will, they will position, depending on client's risk tolerance, they will position us anywhere from 2% of their portfolios towards 10%. And as I said, I think in the broad-based benchmarks, uh, our strategies, our stocks, will end up at more than 60%. So we are in very early days. And that's why we encourage our investors as well to get on the right side of change. It's been awfully painful. And believe me, I do feel it. And we're completely committed. We actually increased our own ownership of our firm in the middle of all of this. That's how mm -hmm. high our conviction is. And almost every employee participated in that. Let's talk Tesla, Zoom, and some of your other top holdings, Kathy. Sure. Uh, well, I'll start with Zoom. It's a fascinating stock. Many people call it a stay-at-home stock because, of course, it did so much to help us transition through uh, COVID. So to give you a sense of the drama here, uh, Zoom's revenues are up sevenfold since 2019 before the COVID. So there was roughly $600 million in revenue, and now we're up to four point. Four billion, we think, for, for this fiscal year. Its uh, cash flow has gone from roughly $40 million, so even back then it had cash flow, uh, to $1.6 billion. And yet the stock and, and its earnings per share have gone some not, from $0.09 cents to $3 and roughly $0.70, cents, we think, for this year. And yet the stock is below where it was uh, before COVID. It's, it's astonishing to us. This is what I mean by a deep value stock mm. in our portfolios. Its enterprise value to EBITDA is a, a roughly 11 times, 11 times, which is lower than the broad-based markets. Now, uh, this is not just a consumer stock. In fact, more than half of its revenues is enterprise, and that number is increasing dramatically. Why? Mm. This is the first rip and replace cycle in the enterprise communication space since Cisco built out the backbone of the internet in wow. the early 90s, right? Mm. First rip and replace cycle. This cycle is going into the cloud. We're not gonna be as hardware centric yeah. or on-prem. It's going into the cloud and this market is Zoom's and Microsoft's to win. Wow. Kathy, real quick before you go on Bitcoin, they've it's had a pretty good spate here, even though we're still way down from the highs. Would you put new money to work on Bitcoin today? We are very positive in Bitcoin. We have in our Big Ideas 2022, which you can find on our website, we have a price target uh, in 2030 of $1.3 million. It's only 21000 now. Uh, and we can show you the building blocks, how we get there. Kathy Wood says that ARC makes all of its research readily accessible to the public, providing her customers with clarity they can't get elsewhere in the market. She also stated that the investment group will continue to release its financial framework because the traditional banking industry doesn't deserve shareholders of innovation. Wood advises the company in which she invests to spend heavily now in order to take advantage of huge growth potential. She estimates that ARC's concentration on technology advancement is worth about $7 to $8 trillion, or less than 10% of global equities markets. What do you think of Kathy Wood's interview on the current financial market, her outlook for Bitcoin, and what's to come for this year? Comment down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Library of Wealth. We'll see you in the next video.